Good morning, Church on the Ridge. Pastor Tom here with your daily encouragement. I don't know if you're anything like me. Uh, my wife and I lately in this hot weather have been doing a lot of watering. We're live here from the O'Neill family um, garden and yard. My wife typically is in charge of the flowers. And I'm in charge of the grass. Um, even though I have a pretty significant grass allergy, I became a lawn guy when I became a homeowner. Uh, and there are a lot of theories around watering and this may be wrong, so don't quote me and don't look it up, but I have heard um, the, the, kind of two schools of thought for watering your grass. Um, we're starting to see some of it get yellow this time of year. If you want to keep it green, looking nice, you can do a couple things. I don't have an irrigation system. I got this much sprinkler back here, but if you did, you know, you could do like, okay, 15 minutes every morning, every day, seven, 15 minute waterings a week. Other, the other school of thought is that you just do one a week or you do it less frequently, but you water it for longer. You, you want the water to soak in deep down into the roots. Um, and I think the theory goes that if you do less watering more frequently, it helps, it kind of maintains it. But if you want growth or if you want to regrow the dead grass, you've got to get down into the roots. And I think that same, uh, that same principle applies for us spiritually. And uh, Book of John, um, uh, God compares uh, him as the, the vine and we are the branches. And he says, if, I, um, if you remain in me, I will remain in you and you will bear much fruit. Um, and there's a lot of agricultural references uh, throughout the Bible. But um, I think this applies. We need to uh, be maintaining. We need to be, you know, regular watering. It's our first 14 minutes. It's uh, tuning into your daily encouragement video or opening up the Bible app for the verse of the day or what it is, that daily checking with God. But I also think there is value in deep watering and spending significant time with Jesus. We see this um, every year with uh, kids and youth when we go off to camp and we come back and they're, man, they're on this camp high. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just something that happens when you spend significant repeated time with God. You all of a sudden, man, you had this growth spurt, just like uh, grass needs, needs a bunch of water to grow. Uh, we need to be close and near to God to grow. So um, church, my encouragement for you is to great job, way to go on you know, tuning into your daily encouragement, checking in with Jesus today, but also be planning. How, how, how can I um, get some deep um, watering time with Jesus this week, next month? You may need to even put it into your calendar. Maybe it's an hour here. Maybe it's a half a day away. Maybe it's a hike um, somewhere. I don't know how you like to connect with God in that way, but where you're going to go beyond your 14 minutes, beyond whatever your daily routine is, and spend some real uh, deep, significant time um, hearing from the Lord. So let me pray for you guys. Jesus, thank you that, God, you were good. And um, apart from you, we can bear no fruit. Apart from you, we can't do anything. But God, help us to, to not um, forget to, um, to stay close to you and to spend deep, intentional, significant time. Um, Lord, I, I pray for our church that you would speak um, into their lives as, as they do this and, and, uh, and connect with you in this way. And I pray that they, we would bear much fruit as a church so that um, the people around us are affected and, uh, and that the gospel is preached um, all around the Snoqualmie Valley. So we ask all these things in your name. Amen. Thank you, church. Have a great day.